Hit him with that Holy Spirit, lizards. Mm. Mm. A symphony of violence. A symphony, I say. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. Yes, we do. Because I'm going to show you the deck that rocketed me, rocketed me, into Diamond. I didn't get to show it earlier. I was kind of saving it. And that would be the return of the Rakdos Lizards. And what we had last Tuesday, this uh, a couple of days ago, is we had some new... I'm going to say it, guys. I'm going to say the A word. Alchemy cards. Yes. We got some new, very powerful alchemy cards uh, out of Rakdos right here, especially Rakdos Lizards. I opened a couple of packs. I got a couple of Lizards. I said, let me throw them in kind of a basic Lizard build and see how they enhance it. And they went on a killing spree. I'm talking about maybe like 90% win rate currently. They took me from like Plat 3 to Diamond 3. Like, they, they just murdered everything. So, if you want to climb, you want to rank, and you want to try your hand in alchemy, this is the one to do. Now, before you freak out and click off and dislike the video for alchemy, I will have a standard version for you people who aren't cool enough to handle alchemy decks and cards, all right? So, if you feel like you're not a bad enough dude to handle alchemy, we'll have the standard version available for you as well. So, both of you... Uh, both viewers will be able to enjoy both types of decks. So, Hot Lizzie, here it is, Rakdos. Before we get started, I need you to do something for me, which is, of course, tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. And if you don't, you will be attacked by the like and subscribe, which you may or may not know is a YouTube werewolf who will viciously rip you apart and claw you for not liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Join us on a stream every night at twitch.tv slash J for all live streaming goodness. We'd love to have you there live and in person on Twitch or on YouTube. Hit that bell. You'll be notified when we go live on YouTube as well. Check out our Discord community for all latest news, information, post your decks, post memes. All of it's right there on the Discord. And of course, this deck and all the other ones that I build, including the standard version, and the alchemy version are going to be available down below on my Aether Hub. So <clears throat> you go down to the description, you will find both versions available. So pretty standard lizard deck. We've been through a lot of these. Iridescent Vine Lasher, uh, one black drop, one two offspring, which means you can pay two. That's the new offspring mechanic. You can pay two and uh, it will come in with an additional one that's a one one. Whenever you put a land down, it deals damage. Basically, what these um, decks do, what these lizard decks do, is they make everything hurt. Every action. When you attack, uh, when you play a land, when you do anything at all, when something enters, when something dies, everything hurts. That's our goal right here. And you get the more synergy is uh, whenever something hurts, it either does more damage or it gives you a secondary effect. So that's the idea. We want everything that we play to be hurting our opponent right there. Vine Lasher hits it out right there with the landfall, one damage to each opponent. Hired Claw, another hurdy guy. Whenever a lizard you control attacks, Hired Claw deals one damage to target. It doesn't even need to attack. Lizard Mercenary right here, one red, one two. Another lizard, you could play this and a different lizard attacks, he still does one damage. And when he does damage, we are going to get the secondary lizard effect off of that damage right there. Um, really cool lizard mercenary and whenever somebody has lost life you can play one red and one to give them a one one counter which is extremely useful um, remember that's only once each turn however if they've lost life on your off turn meaning that they've lost life by playing something that you know they played a pain land they played like a bitter triumph or something like that um, you uh, you get to the point where you can a activate that on your turn and your opponent's turn I have here an alchemy card, one of the first ones I didn't get to play, Shove Aside. Uh, if you aren't the starting player, you may cast Shove Aside as though it had Flash. So if you play second, you get a bonus, and you can basically cast a Lightning Bolt against a creature or Planeswalker right there. If you're saying, Jay, I hate that, I don't want to play that, I'm going to talk about your sideboard right here. Witchstalker Frenzy for your big boys, a braid for your small guys. You could even play more direct removal. I kind of like a braid because I think destroying artifacts is actually kind of useful in the meta right now. People are running a lot of garbage ass artifacts that need to be blown up. So if you don't want to play alchemy, you throw the braid in there, boom, you're good. Um, 
Direct removal. Three bitter triumphs. Yeah, I don't really care about paying the three life. If there's a big enough creature that I need to pop out, I'm going to pop it out. Rally Vot Caller. Or the Valley Rock Caller. Either one. Uh, the gain and drain effect off this combining with the lizards is fantastic. It's the squirrel that likes to hang out with lizards. One black and one, one three menace whenever Valley Rock Caller attacks. Each opponent loses X life and you gain X life or X is the number of squirrels, bats, lizards, and rats you control. Everything we have is a lizard. Even the other squirrels that we have in the deck, meaning the other uh, Valley Rock Callers that we may or may not play, will hit the gain and drain off. You are going to be already doing so much damage between the landfall, between the hired claw swinging in and doing damage. Play a land, attack. Play a land, one damage, attack, one damage, and then attack with Valley Rock Caller, drain damage. Really, really, really powerful combinations right there. Uh, we're going to go four of those. The Flame Cash Gecko is functionally a free card. Um, really, really amazing card right here. One red and one two two Lizard Warlock. When Flame Cash Gecko enters the battlefield, if an opponent lost life this turn, add one black and one red. That means... That if you've played a mana or something or attacked and they've lost life in any capacity, when he comes in, you immediately get your two mana back. You could play a Fireglass Mentor, you could play a Gav Scaled Scorcher, you could play anything that you want or immediately discard a card and draw another card on top of that. So it's a 2-2 Lizard Warlock that will trigger enter the battlefield and essentially just gives you your money back. Like it's, it's, got a, it's got a free rebate on it. It's like, oh, you paid two? Well, here's two. That is an amazing card right there. It's another body blocker, and it lets you draw and discord cards. Fireglass Mentor. We need cards off the top. He's got you right there. One red and one black. Two one. At the beginning of your second main phase, if an opponent lost life this turn, exile the top two cards of your library. Choose one of them until the end of turn. You may play those cards. Um, he will help you pull in middle to late game if you need the steady flow of cards in your hand. Uh, he will help you. if you Again, if you've ever done damage to anything, he will pull the let he will pull the cards off the top that let you play them and boom 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 you're going to keep a steady flow of cards into the into the game very effectively right there gav the scaled scorcher we don't hear much about gav but he's doing it uh one black and one red three two pay two life lizard mercenary by the way guys i don't know if you've noticed before i get into gav assassin uh warlock warlock mercenary warlock you know what that means sneaking up on you you might have figured it out this is a secret outlaws deck yeah lizard outlaws gav scale Swarcher. ward pay two life i love that i love the fact that you have to pay two life for him i love wards that punish the opponent for trying to remove them uh other creatures you control enter with a one one counter on them for each opponent who lost life this turn that means if your opponent lost life in any capacity whenever you play creature they come in now that's not just lizards that's any creature who has lost life gets a 1-1 one, one counter on them, which is very, very cool. Whenever you cast a Lizard spell, a Gav Scaled Scorcher deals 1 damage to each opponent. So now you have whenever you play a Lizard, 1 damage, whenever you play a Land, 1 damage, and whenever you attack, 1 damage. You see how this is started to rack up right here? Gain and Drain Effects. Rakish Crew. Yeah, we're getting OTJ involved. 1 Black and 2. Rakish Crew enters. Create 1 Red Red Mercenary Token with Target Creature gets plus 1 to the end of turn activate as a sorcery that's fine i like activating that i, I like a 1-1 one, one mercenary especially if we've done a gev scaled scorcher already it becomes a 2-2 two, two. it comes in as a 2-2 as a two, two because it gets the 1-1 one, one counter on it but what i really like is now we want to punish people for killing our creatures right now we have the ability if any outlaw we control dies each opponent loses one life and we gain one life so now we have all of the triggers now guys play a land lose a life Kill a creature, lose a life. Creature enters, lose a life. Attack, lose a life. We will punish every single action that our opponent takes. Everything they try to do, every play, every spell, everything we do, we will punish them with damage. That is the goal right there with Rakish Crew and all the other ones. Valley Flame Caller. Look at this guy right here. If a lizard, mouse, otter, or raccoon you control will deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals that much damage plus one. That means that Hired Claw deals two damage now. Iridescent Vine Lasher deals two damage. Gev, two damage. You're starting to get it right there. Even when they hit, they do an extra damage. He is a three drop right there, and he's a three three. Very useful. Look at that. He's bringing down the flaming stars. Again, also a warlock. Very effective. Here is the new alchemy cards. We're going to go over these right now. <clears throat> Marshland Horde Master. I really like this one. Uh, one red and one black. One 
Two four lizard warlock. It is a mercy. It is an outlaw. Whenever lizard uh, marshland horde master enters the battlefield, it perpetually gains, or another lizard uh, enters the battlefield. Ho marshland horde master perpetually gains battle cry. So it immediately gains battle cry, meaning that whenever it attacks, each other creature you control gets plus one. Every other time that you play a lizard, it gets battle cry again. I believe. I think these battle cries are going to a, a stack on each other. Uh, and when Horde Master dies or another lizard you control dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Now you're talking about with Rakish Crew and uh, and Horde Master, you could really be punishing the opponent for any time that they try to even kill your creatures. It is very, very useful. You're now attacking for more when you swing in with Battlecry. And if they even block anything, they're going to get killed from Rakish Crew and the Horde Master uh, removal. If you don't run a run Horde Master, you certainly could run more Rakish Crews instead of the Lizard. And you could run something else. You could run more Valley Flame Callers and one more Rakish Crew for your standard deck. So you could run one more of those, one more of those. You don't have to put the Alchemy in. But aren't you a little tempted to try the Alchemy? It's a pretty cool card. Um... The other alchemy card right here is we're going to have the Dazzling Flame Weaver. And he's what gives the deck a little bit more longevity in the long, middle to long game. One red, one black, rack those colors, two, four drop, four, four, menace, ward pay for life. Guys, they're not going to have the cash. They're not going to have the life to pay to kill this guy on turn four. We're going to be beating him up so bad. Uh, whenever one or more creatures you control deal damage to a player, conjure a random card from Dazzling Flame Weaver Spellbook into exile. You may play it this turn. So what that means is anytime one of your lizards, and remember every single one of your lizards damages your opponent, does damage, you get these spectacle cards. Spectacle cards were the old Ravnica cards um, that basically let you play things for their spectacle cost. And what spectacle cost was is they were cheaper when you uh, they were cheaper when you had done damage to your opponent. So you wanted, uh, you wanted body count, it normally costs three, now it only costs one black for spectacle. You wanted dead revels, four, it only costs two spectacles. So it feeds into the idea that you are going to be hurting your opponent and drawing cards off the top. Drill bit, boom. Hacrobat, boom. Light up the stage, boom, no problem. Rafter demon, yeah, um, no problem. Rick's, uh, Rick's Mighty Reveler, skewer the critics, that's like a lightning bolt, three damage. It's only one red to cast it if you cast it from Spectacle right there. And Spawn of Mayhem. Hey, look at that. Look at that monster. Demon and a Spike Wheel Acrobat. So you get to choose one. Uh, you'll choose a random card from the flame from the book, and you get to cast it immediately, and you get to cast it from Spectacle because you have already done damage. So it feeds into it. Only in Alchemy can you play this. It is digital only. It is a fun card, and if you don't want it, yeah, you could play more removal. You could play more anything, really, fill in the position. Even a push-pull is not a bad idea. Um, then we're going to finish with Hellspur Posse Boss. This is a Lizard Rogue right here. I mean, he can play him yet. Two red and two, two four, but he comes in with two mercenaries, two one one mercenary creatures. I really like to play this after Gev Scale Scorcher has done damage. Actually, he always does damage because when Hellspur comes in, he does one damage. So these one one mercenaries come in as actual two twos which is really cool right there. Uh, and then every other creature you control has haste. Um, other outlaws you control have haste. So that means for the rest of the game, anytime you play a lizard, they're going to be hasty. Even the rally rock caller, because it's a warlock, it's an outlaw, it's hasty. So Hellspur, Posse Boss is going to finish it up at the four drop right there. You could do more of those if you want. Really, really useful card, plays in really effectively. And of course, like I said, guys, this thing was a massacring people, okay? Um... I went on a, I think a 13 or 14 win streak. Uh, like I said, I got from like diamond two, uh, plat two to like diamond three on this one. Just murking people. 87% win rate, insanely high right there. There's the sideboard. We're gonna look at the statistics. 30 creatures, 26 are lizards, four are squirrels. They are all outlaws, rogues, warlocks, and assassins. Three instants, three sorceries, two enchantments, 23 lands on a 2.1. Could you get away with 22 lands? I don't know, you could try it. Alchemy is your version. If you don't want the Alchemy version, I'll, of course, have that version for you. Uh, here it is in the vertical view. Very cheap, very effective. And again, the sideboard um, being what it is, uh, we have a couple of options, which, of course, a braid if you don't want shove aside, Valley Flame Caller, Witch Stalker, and Bitter Triumph in case you want to swap out these other ones. But honestly, they really do add a better high end. Probably one of the Lizard's biggest weaknesses was being too, too they, they ran out of gas. 
adding a couple of these higher cards, just a couple of these higher cards uh, right here, just bring out that fullness. Even if you get bogged down and they're removing things and you're not quite finishing them off, these these middle to, to, to these middle three to four drops just absolutely close and seal the deal on this one. So absolutely crushing this, uh, crushing the meta right now with lizards. It is super powerful. Let's get into it. We're going to go into Alchemy Ranked with Hot Lizzie. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Lizards are back. What do you think about them? What do you think about Alchemy? Here you go. Bum, 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 bum. No, yeah, we've, we've only, we just got started. Like, I've barely done very much, so. I have some of these new alchemy ones in here, so. Blue Dab and Diva. No, okay, there's Heist. Okay. We got back to it. That ability, boom, boom. All right, we'll try Marshland Horde Master next. How's the new alchemy looking? We're basically just taking a look at it right now, Chris Chaos. Um, it is looking okay. I wouldn't say there's anything super standout for me. Uh, I opened a couple of packs and just am, am trying to do a little experimentation. Um, I don't know how amazing it is yet. I, you know, nothing, nothing, like I said, nothing jumped out and was like, whoa, you know, um, so, I don't know. We're going to try it. Marshland Horde Master. Okay, so we got that one. Perpetually Gates Battle Cry. All right, I have that now, too. Then we have Hellspur Pit Boss next. Yeah, no, nothing, nothing really flew. I, I looked at a little bit. There's only one bat. There's the one bat that really jumped out at me, but nothing like heist where it's like, holy shit, you know, like, oh, this is game changer shit right here. You know what I mean? Like, so I, I wouldn't say that anything was was absurd power levels of 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 wild. And I haven't been in alchemy in a while after rotation, so I got to kind of get my alchemy legs back, you know, like. Last cycle, and we're talking about, um, if we're talking about, uh, whatchamacallit, last cycle, uh, Heist was a fucking clear standout, you know? Heist was fucking wild. It was, it was a new mechanic that it just was absolutely going to dominate meta, and I don't see anything like that this time, per se, you know? did something again, but who knows if it's any good. Gev, Scaled Scorcher. Um, I need this guy. I 
Yeah, my deck isn't very good at heist because there's just synergies that you're not going to get. Just like a lot of synergy you're not going to get off of the different things. You kind of need everything to work together. And Hellspur is probably going to close them. Yeah, they're going to fucking close them here. They'll fucking close them up. Stop, drop, shutting down, open up shop. Especially if we get a mana. Alright, what do you grab? Grab the Valley Rock Holler. Creates a treasure token. Very nice. He's still got some. He's still got some in there. He's still got some in there, huh? Are you just on full control and not paying attention? Oh, he's got uh, grave expectations. Okay. All right. So we're gonna play Mudflat Village. Pay him for two. Mango. Mango. Play that. See what he grabs here. We can actually resurrect somebody with uh with Bud Flat. We could well we couldn't. We've got another land. A long goodbye. Not super useful. Hired Claw. Let's do that. Boom. Swing. Yeah. Alright, I actually really like the Hellspur boss right there because he does give everything haste, which is nice. Which can help on the jump back. Okay. So that was that was alchemy right there. Not bad. It worked well, yeah. We had a couple, uh, we had a pretty good, um, wow, that's a bad opener. Holy shit. You like that, guys? That was a fucking garbage opener right there. All right, let's go with, um, this one. We'll drop Hellspur. Um,. A little expensive. I will be streaming tonight. Yes, I will be back tonight. No worries. Late yesterday, I, uh, I I was fucking exhausted and I slept like ten hours. Um, it was really bad. I was in a bad shape. <clears throat> I've not been resting well and not been taking care of myself, and I got to do that a little bit. As much as I love. Uh, as much as I love streaming and doing content creation, I gotta be fucking smart. Uh, let's do Rock Caller. Rock Caller, Shot Caller. We 
you can play direct removal on the Valley Rock Caller, I'm sure. Oh, he kicks it back with his own, uh... He kicks it back. Tanuki says hi, it's something about lizards. Yes, lizards are incoming. Incoming and outgoing. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, okay, so this is one of the... No, this is not one of the new guys. Auto pay. Really hitting them on the or hitting them hard on the attacks here. He can block a pretty decent one. Yeah, he'll block that. But damn, if he's not in bad shape, pop, pop, pop. I mean, he's in bad shape. Unless he does a sweeper right here, he's pretty fucked. He's pretty fucked. Let's see, guys. Can we get to 25 concurrent viewers, and I'll fucking drop. Uh, I'll drop five subs. I'll drop five channel memberships. 20 likes, 25 concurrent. How's that? We feel like that's unreasonable, or, or that's reasonable enough. Oh yeah, he's fucking cut. He's cut. Yo. Do 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 do. I don't feel like that's a hard goal. More than reasonable, absolutely. I feel like I'm being very reasonable there. There's Rockus Theater. Might not be great. He goes first with a little snow. Hey, what's up, Jerry Manning? Oh, look, we got up to 27. We're almost at 20. Jer Jagged Barons? Um, no, we don't need that just yet. To watching from two different YouTubes. All right, let's get fucking, let's get Counterspell. Oh my goodness, we didn't get Counterspell. If I start putting money into the game, the best option would be boosters or something else. Depends what you want to do, man. Depends really what you're trying to do. You know, I I, I can't, um, <clears throat> I can't really make that decision for you. Boosters are not a bad idea. Um, you know, you could play limited. Um, you could play a couple of different things, but for the most part, yeah, boosters are never a bad idea. Boom. Hey, we did it, guys. We did it. Time to give out some subs. Some delicious sub sandwiches. Uh, three damage. We get to play two. Two life. 
We'll play Reichland Horde Master. Fuck it, I don't care. Gev. Alright. Alright, guys. Right after this game, we're gonna give out the subs. The delicious sub sandwiches. Delicious, fresh baked sub sandwiches. I think he may be fucked here. I think he may be. He, he can kill, but it's whatever. They always kill that fucking horde master, huh? Yeah, I just gotta motivate. You just gotta know how to motivate people, you know? That's gonna gain and drain him, which I'm sure he doesn't like. He's gonna do fire glass mentor. Boom. Boom. So we're gonna do hired claw. He knows he's fucked. I think Heist might be on its way out, man. I haven't lost to a Heist deck yet, dude. I think this shit's too fast. I think this shit's too fast, bro. Makes me want a Chiba Hut. Alright, guys, here it comes. Boom! Look at that. Plat one. Easy pie. Gifting out. Gifts incoming. Who do, who gets it? Who gets it? Opaline, Guillermo Tuant, John P, Jay Pozo, and Matthew Ludovico all got free gifts from the J villain. There you go. I don't know what the fuck Chiba Hut is. No, I don't know what that is. Let me look it up. Chiba Hut Toasted Subs. Okay. Arizona? Okay. I mean, there, that sure is somewhere. Bam, 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 bam. Congrats to all the winners. Electric Kitten, where you been, Electric Kitten? We ain't seen you around, Electric Kitten. Where you been? Electric Kitterella trying to bleed. Then and found the paradise. Dun, 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 dun. Do revive. Electric kit Dorella Banana. Oh, we got another guy. We got another one, boys. I think we might be too fast for heisters, and I don't think that there's you can't heist for enough synergy individually. The lizards kind of suck on themselves, but when you when you combine them, I think they are pretty decent. He might kill this. Let's see. He's gonna fucking no, he's gonna heist me. We put that down. That's going to ping him. That's going to give me that. And that's going to give me that. And that way, next turn, we can rake his crew. I think we might be too fast for heist, man. Like, look how fucking wide our board is when they're still getting fucking set up. And he has to pay two life to get that shit out, you know? Let's try this. Boom, rake his crew. So if he kills any more... He loses life. We ping him, ping him. Restless vents into Rock Collar into Dazzling Flame Weaver. You know, he's always playing defense. They're a little sluggish now. Work? That's not allowed. Wanna be a Rock Collar? So now he's punished. He's punished no matter what happens. If he kills cards, if he fucking plays cards, loses cards, like, no matter what the fuck he does, he's gonna get hurt. And I think that's gonna be the, the lights out for him, though. Lights out, Gorilla Radio. Turn that shit up. Shove aside. That's the gain and drain effect right there. That's gonna gain and drain him out right there. Fireglass Mentor, we're gonna do Dazzler. Boom. 
Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Alright, we didn't get anything there. Um, it's that. It's the heist. Boom. Lights out. Gorilla radio. Turn that shit up. Has to pay three life. Goes down. He loses life. Boom. Boom. Still in trouble, dude. You're still in bad trouble here, man. Even if you kill one, you're in trouble. Well, okay, he could play the instant and gain the three life. Yeah, he could grave expectations. Boom, 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 boom. Um, we'll play that. Play that. Landfalls him. Increase the power. Yeah, it's not looking good for you, man. It's not looking good for you, homie. It's too fast. Too fast, too furious. It's just the name of the game, bro. He can play a card, but, I mean, he'll gain life there, but that's not going to matter, dude. It's really not going to matter very much. So we're going to do this. Yep. Too fast for him, bros. Bros broskies. Friends. Guys, gals, and everyone in between. Too fucking fast. Too much pressure on them. They, they don't have enough time. The combo pieces don't come out for them. So it's hard for them to combine what they're stealing. And then um, not only is it hard for them to combine what they're stealing, but we just fly out of the gate way too quickly for them to even deal with what's going on. They can't. They're always playing fucking catch up. Always the bridesmaid coax. Sorry, coax, man. I don't have control. When you gift subs, they don't have the ability on, on, on YouTube to gift subs directly to like specific person. They only give me the option to randomly gift subs. Um... Yeah, they don't give me the they don't give me the chance to just give them out to a person. Kind of need Jasper to take a lot of the of cards to hijack synergy jasper i thought about jasper but i already kind of did a jasper deck with him and i wasn't sure if i wanted to go back um so ops goes first and i got pretty good one two threes i'll, I'll try it here against hannibal barca Hannibal Barca. Oh, he's going frog. He's going frog pilled. He's frog pilled. Okay. We might need to play a removal next because the frogs they do bounce. They do be do bouncing right here. Unless, ha 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 ha, unless. Unless we did Shot Caller. Let's wait, because we might be able to do Bitter Triumph and Shove Aside simultaneously. 
Hey, what's up, Mar Amaro Mapelli? Buongiorno or buonotte. Quick question. Have you experienced any troubles with jump in quest? I can't complete the quest. I completed one, then start again. The game does not count. Bro, 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 I'll tell you what. I haven't played jump in in a long time. I'm the wrong one to ask there. Because uh, I have not played that in a while. I have not played that in a good a long while. So I, I couldn't answer that for you. I haven't had any issues with it. Buonasera. Buonasera. Prof's eidetic memory. Gonna draw. Boom. That gives a thingy. We'll do no blocks. Boom. Land. You shove aside on you. Do valley rock collar, shot collar. Boom, boom, big hit. Big heavy body blows. Paid profit, draws a card. Pawn profit, sorry, not paid profit. Boom. And then do no blocks. No blocks like Roblox. I think I mentioned it, Acheron. I think I may have mentioned it. Um, I'm sorry I didn't set off Acheron's call for you. I should have uh, should have hit Acheron's call. Boom, boom. And he's out of there. Look at that. Currently undefeated, by the way. Currently, currently undefeated. Um, yeah. That's pretty fucking wild. How can I get the list you're playing? I'm probably gonna make a video out of it because right now I literally have not lost a game playing it. So I think it may be fucking cracked. I have a sneaking suspicion that this deck may be fucking cracked. Um, it is an alchemy deck though. You're an actual vampire. Bro, I'm literally a vampire. Look at me. Look at me. Look at my look at my tank. Look at my tank fangs. Look at my fangs. Ah, 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 ah. Like you see my fangs? You tell me. I, I gotta be up sometimes. You got blinds. Um, yeah, this deck is really fucking cracked. Um Let me go to my untapped to try to take a look at it, because my Aether Hub is not picking it up, unfortunately. can't see you? You can't see my avatar? You can't see my VTuber? Oh my goodness. Listen, what's a little fang looking between friends? Check it out now, Rockfall Village. Right about now. 
Rockfall Village. Check it out now. Rockfall Village, right about now. Rockfall Village. gets to put that he gets to do that Golgari life drain very interesting he's gonna play kill on it he's gonna go for the kill So alchemy has fewer sets available because it rotated. So there's only five sets available. There's also bonus alchemy cards, which don't exist anywhere else but alchemy. So that's what you have that's different. So he's really trying to get this uh, perpetual life life drain out there. Chittering skull. Oh, I brought up a bigger vampire so you could see my fangs. Fangs for the memories. Fangs for the memories. So I'll play down Rock Caller and Valley Flame Caller and fucking fuck them up. Fuck them up real bad. Boom. He's gonna do that. He loses a life. Unless this is a board wipe, it's gonna be real fucking bad for him right here. And even if it is a board wipe, it's still gonna be bad. Fangs for the memories. Did I ever make a vampire deck called Fangs for the Memories? That's a good question. That I haven't done that. I'll have to make this Sanguine Soothsayer deck and, and make a Fangs for the Memories deck, huh? I, I It's too good of a pun to mix up. And also involves old-ass fucking music, which you know is my thing. Old-ass music is my thing. Um, Pearl Collector. Okay. No, he's, he's fucking doomed. This dude is beyond doomed here. Um, we're gonna put down Rock Collar, Shot Collar. And then uh, we're gonna run at him. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. And hey, bro, this is gonna take me to Diamond easy. Easy Diamond. Shine on you crazy easy diamond. I don't want to jinx it. Let's not jinx it, but uh I just want to show you something real quick. There you go. That's what that looks like. See how all of these numbers here are green? You see how every number here is green? So it says WL. You see how it says 100%? That's the that's the main thing we want to focus on right there. It's not perfect. Listen, it's about time. I'm due for a little bit of good luck. Maybe I'll get bad luck now, but 
I'm happy that I just made it to plat one. I can I can coast the rest of the way. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna make it to fucking diamond. So listen, I, I I'll probably make it to diamond at the very least, and I'm happy with that. Then I got ten days to mythic, which isn't too bad. I could just run a, run mono red until my fucking brain melts out of my out of my ears, and and that'll get me there, which is you know something. Don't forget, you have free alchemy packs in the in the in your mailbox, so don't forget that, guys. Um, please don't forget that you have free alchemy packs in the mailbox. Not bad. A little slow, but I, I think I can hack it. I got the Mythic with Bass, but it took a long time. I like Lizards better to finish your Lizards. Well, this might be the Lizards deck for you, bro. This might be the Lizards deck for you. Iridescent Vine Lasher. Put another one down. Do 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 he was a day a a a streamer. I found out. He's gonna play direct removal. Oof. I need a mana right here. Fire claw will work. Well, we'll do this. We'll do fire glass. There we go. That'll work. Poor scene. All right. How about we do Horde Master? Petrally gains Battle Cry. Boom. Draws. We'll take Rock Face Village. Rock Face Village. We'll put on Hired Claw. Boom. Probably gonna play removal on that because he's a removal type of guy. He's doing the Abzan Exile, yeah. They love this Abzan Exile. They love it. Um. Second little piggy. This is it's too good. Hit him with that Holy Spirit, lizards. Mm. Mm. A symphony of violence. A symphony, I say. Too damn fast, man. I don't think people can react to this quick enough. They can't they can't get on the fucking two-step quick enough to fucking deal with this shit. Especially the lack of cut down, where you can't you don't have the turn one removal, you have to wait for turn two removal. It absolutely fucking cracks people in half. I don't I, I don't I don't know if people have a good re good enough reaction with this deck. I just don't think they can crack back at you quick enough. Um Yeah. You gotta go... Oh, yeah, I'll be on tonight, Acheron. You'll hear it. You'll hear Acheron's call. I might have to call it Too Fast, Too Furious, yeah. Um, that might be a good name for it. Uh, 
Neptune. Um, do Jagged Barons. Ping, ping. All right, we do Marshland Horde Master next. What? Okay. He's gonna heist me. Mud flat. So close, man. Not paying attention. That'll, that's what'll get you. That's what not paying attention will get you. He wanted that. He wanted that fucking. Uh, wanted that treasure. Added one soul from your liver death just for some overkill. I like it. I like that idea. It's not a bad idea. All right. Um, he's gonna heist me. Hey, what's up, Lunasm the Phantasm? AKA the Is It Spasm. Almost the right colors. How's about we do Dazzling Flame Weaver? Boom. Alison Ribeiro. Alison Ribeiro. He's probably got that. Oh, he's got Valley Rock Collar, Shot Collar. Okay. All right. What else has he got for me? He's got a lot of mana there. He's probably got Weave the Weave the Nightmare. They always have Weave the Nightmare. Told you. Wow, I can play this shit by myself, huh? I don't even need another person here. I can just do this by, on my own. So we'll do Fire Glass and Rackish Crew. This dude's getting fucking god hand right here. He's still not really putting a lot of pressure on me. Um, um, we'll do Fire Glass. We'll do Horde Master. Perfect Storm deck. You know they have Storm cards in the new Alchemy stuff, right? There's storm stuff in there. They they have that channel that lightning rod or whatever it's called, and it uh, actually has storm cards, so you can actually go bum 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 bum. All right, he's gonna play direct removal. Boom, bitter triumph. Boom, boom. Lizard dies. Lizard dies. Lizard dies. Okay. Impetuous loot monger, very nice. Yeah, there's there's real storm cards. There's real fucking storm cards in 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 fucking the alchemy set. Yeah, it's an enchantment that gives you storm. It actually has grape shot in it. Oh, my man's shaking. He's going, uh, he's, he's trembling. He's trembling, everyone. All right, let's try that. So he has successfully played a shitload of removal on me immediately, which kind of sucks. Um, Rogway. He's going with the Rogway here. Boom. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't hit a lot of removal, and he's uh, he's beating me pretty good. Yeah, it has Embercleave in there as well. There's a lot of shit going on. There's a lot of shit going on. Boom. 
My issue is that if I keep pulling mana, I'm going to be in trouble. Because he keeps heisting me. See? That's the issue. Luckily, I have this. Nope. That's not it. Flame cash. That was not it. None of those fucking cards were any good. Um, we drew one, two, three, four, five, six. And he is fucking loot mongering off the top real hard right now. Riviero. Oof, oof. Outlaw damage. Boom. Wow. They really don't want to give me a fucking card, do they? They just really don't want to. Game is just like, fuck you, man. I'm not giving you shit. I'm not giving you fuck shit, dude. Uh, let's go in. Fuck them. Not dead after all. Boom, boom. Down to, down to fucking five right there. Gonna ping me for one. Treasure me. Boom. A sacrifice. We'll fall. I could still survive a decent hit. That's the thing. Like, I'm not too worried about a fucking hit right here. This card, whatever that card is, I'm worried about. The infamous Cruel Claw. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. I think he should swing in with everything and not worry about it. I think that's absolutely what he should do. He should go and fucking whole hog here. No, he did not. He chose not to. Flame Cash Gecko. So who do we want in our... I'm going to do this. We want... The Crew Claw. I'm not letting you get a free fucking card, dude. You're crazy. I get Hellspur boss out, it's it's fucking Jover. There's Jasper Flint. I think it's Jover. It may be Jover for him right now. It it may be Jover. Yeah, it's fucking Jover, man. It is fucking good. It, it's over. Yeah, no, no, you fuck dog. You done fucked up. You done fucked up, AA Ron. You let me get back. Don't ever let me get back.
so fucking jober. Got him. Got him. How much flap would a wooden butt flap if a flap 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 would? All right, let's see if we can walk him down. Let's see if we can walk him down, ladies and gentlemen. You got to run the hot streak out. Yeah, that's pretty good, I got to say. Pretty dazzling, even say, I would say. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it right there. I'll be back tonight. We're going to cut this one short. Thank you so much for coming. We got a nice little video in. I've been Jay Villain. You've been great. Uh, lizards, the new lizards, very powerful in alchemy. As you can see, proof is in the pudding. I don't want to hear a word otherwise. Really, really got us very, very close to where we needed to go. I'm sure it's going to push us all the way. So until next time, guys, adios and goodbye.